What's up, what's up, Wheatfield? This is your girl, Lati, from Terrace and Wheat to Rose Show, where you're showing sure up, never know what you're going to get. Today is just going to be a quick little chop it up session, so I hope you guys are ready for just a little bit of a conversation. We ended last night as we were uh, going through our astrology book, and I don't know if she'll pop back open, but she did come back on Aries, the Ram, so that is a whole thing right now and we opened it up on Aries the Ram in turn Ram in terms of birth and uh manifestation and I would want to be able to get to the page. Ah there it is. There it is there it is. Uh so you guys can see we are talking about we have an energy of birth and manifestation. Birth and manifestation. So, I don't think we said our welcome, 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 welcome to the weed field. What up, my returning week? How y'all doing, Jaws Weed? If you knew, if you knew, welcome, welcome to you too. We definitely also were uh, pulled our personal deck, which came to reset, return, restart, a new cycle coming. And Father said, this is going to happen for someone in just a few weeks. Uh, five to say days, you know. So somebody is going through something right now and their cycle is kind of ending. It's kind of going through the process of change. I feel change, a lot, a lot of change. I feel change. I feel alignment, collaboration with this cosmic egg here, right here. It's definitely a rebirth, a rebirth. And someone may be going somewhere on this new quest, an adventure or something like that. But Father says right here to let your dreams shift, to reshape. Again, that cycle starting, things are changing. You're going to have a, a adaptation an evolution you know a period where things shift and they're going to look different for you right so just like your life shifts and shapes itself every day ask yourself in the morning am i shaping my life the way i want it to be so are you an active participant in how your life is being reshaped is uh, a question of the day. We have our light worker deck out and we have the energy of align your life. What is not aligned? Whatever is not aligned and needs to change, it's time to let it go, let it fall away from you so that whatever is trying to come in, whatever you're going to birth in this new cycle, this new season can come about. It can come to its fullness. I need to take a little sip. We got this. And we're not drinking coffee today. We're drinking some tea. We have our mule and leaf tea here. And we have a... Uh, get well gut health tea bag in here as well so working not only as you can see this has respiratory health y'all can get that in there respiratory health bone health we have diuretic health so good for your kidneys um you know good for your allergies good for your skin it's just good 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 so you can make 10 10 10 all the way across the board you know what i mean so that's what we on today we got a whole half a lemon in here a little dash of cinnamon as well and some honey because we've been talking about uh health breathing lung health caring for your throat Throat chakra healing, yes, so that we can use our instrument and have longevity in the use of our instrument. Caring for self. Get that little sip. So that's what we own today, y'all. Let's put these few little cards away. We got a couple boxes. And we're going to do that little fast and just talk it out. So nothing really major, nothing really heavy. Because when you're going through a cycle of change, you know what I mean? It's like you don't want to do a whole lot. You want to take your time in the change process. You know what I mean? You want to really feel this thing out. You want to uh, 
make sure that you are being cognizant of what's happening and taking the opportunity to discern that in your spirit space. So with our dream set, we got a bottom energy, which is whenever life throws obstacles your way and things don't go as planned, accept them and say thank you. I'm ready for the lessons this alternative path will teach me. I trust the lessons are valuable for my dreams to come true. So trusting that the lessons are valuable for your dreams to come true. Sometimes life will change the path on you. You know, you would think that you're heading off in one direction and then it's before you know it, that, you know, the road changes, the terrain changes, what you look like will change. Um, yeah, and that's a good thing. The answers lie in the moment. Stay awake. Hey, I like that. The answers lie in the moment. Stay awake. Be present. Stay faithful to your observations and your feelings. Wake, pray, slay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and that goes right along with our uh, daily real conversation we have on Facebook. The conversation was change versus growth versus adaptation versus evolution. Now, I know some of those things, in my opinion, are very nuanceical. It's like mincing words, right? And they all have nuanceical differences and things that make each word significant. Or are they just synonymous to say the same thing based on how you want to say it? Exactly, right? That's my feel. That's my thought. Same thing, just all about how you want to say it. I grew or I changed. I evolved. I adapted. Come on now. Anywho. Now, I will say evolution. I mean, I guess it's all pretty much the same. Anywho. Chop wood. Yeah. Thinking about that. You know, let's chop that up. Think about it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. So, the you want something else? Okay. Um, the real was like, oh, I haven't changed. But mature people would say that I've grown as my environment. And God has taken me to different levels in my life. I have matured. I have grown. I, but I haven't changed. And I thought to myself, well, that's cool and kidding. Because if your environment has changed, then you change. Because you have to respond to your new environment. That response requires a change. You make a decision to do things differently. You have to flow different because you're in a whole different environment. The people around you are different. Conversations are going to be different. So you do grow. You evolve. But that's still a change, is it not? I don't know. It's just me. Yeah. Have some peace on that. It's okay. I said, yeah, that message to me was upside down. Father say it's a message. You know, people, or maybe people don't get that message. Maybe they want it to just sound like, you know, you know, something special to grab hold to. You know, I don't know. Anywho, poise is right back on the bottom. We started with that poise and co-creation. It was before we shuffled. I don't know if we actually showed it or not. But hold your composure. Being poised through the change, I think, is a thing. Whether you change and evolve and adapt and are growing, whichever one you want to categorize it is, it's still good to hold your composure because change is not easy. Growth is not easy. Maturation is not easy. The making the decision to change your environment, to come away from things of the old so that you can morph into something new and, and, and grow yourself Either way, requires you to do something different. So, yeah, beloved, I would say that you did change. I would say that you are not the same person. And I think that it is very fair for the people around you to say, oh, you have changed. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. It's all about how you count the change. How do you personally receive it? You're not going to be the same person that you were before. I wouldn't care what in yourself you are developing. And God has taken you to new heights based on that development, that trust, that uh, obedience to what the Father is doing to you and with you. Yeah, you definitely change. You are not the same. 
And people who observe that change, aka growth in you, have an app right to say, oh, you changed. But that doesn't mean that you have to be around them because they have not changed. That's the thing. People tend to point out your change because they cannot, they have not changed within self. And your change mirrors back to them the fact that they have not changed. We are called to be changed agents. We change our whole life. We don't have the same thought process we had when we were toddlers or infants or young children or young adolescents or young adults, depending on your phase and stage in life. Everybody is going to change. You should change. You should rise up. That is a part of your purpose here, to take them life lessons, as the, those, stress card, those dream cards said, and change. So what? If you leave up out of here the same way that you came in, it's a problem. Something wrong. And if you hanging around people who can't see you change or be happy for you in the changes that you make, as long as, long as you're reaching towards your highest self, we're going to drop the whole few, two, three, few of these new way of being. And we sitting up here talking about change. Look at that. Awakening. Hi, go with my cup again. Love it. Wake, pray, slay. Awakening. A new way of being yes you have changed and it ain't nothing wrong with that beloved people take offense like oh you changed huh hmm what we got again another one that says you doing what you change it things are changing at a cellular level deep healing transformation yes beloved you change yes you do and yeah. and guess what when you change it does this Seeding the light, laying foundations, being a part of your divine plan. Seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. You're supposed to change. That's the divine plan. If you don't change, you leave out the same way that you came in, and that's ridiculous. You just don't. You could not leave. You're going to change because anyway, you grow up. Growth. Yeah, you grow up, you mature, yeah, you change. How can you mother yourself? How can you nurture yourself as you change? I just said you're going through a whole cycle, restart, reset. How can you self-care, take care of you? We'll chop that up next, put that away real fast. It's just funny, you know what I mean? People think about it like that, like, oh, you can't change. What did I do with this whole deck of cards? That's kawinky dink. I know I didn't put it in nothing else. Oh, I done lost. How come I don't lose a whole set of cards? Oh. Duh. I got them in my hand. <laughs> oh, I just had a laugh card. That's funny. Come on, Father. Let's chop it up real quick. Is there anything in here you won't know? Okay, let go of being an expert. Now, definitely was an amateur mistake. I got the cards in my hands. I'm with someone I knew with them. <laughs> let go of being an expert. I'm sure not, y'all. This is Tears of Week to Row show where you show up, never know what you go get. I promise you. The big smile. What do we just <laughs> Laugh at it. Don't take stuff so serious. Like people let go of being the expert. I haven't changed. People say I've changed. Bro, yeah, you did change. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You are not the same dude because you changed your environment. You changed what you was doing. You grew through your process. You are not the same cat. You're not. And it's okay to accept the fact that you are not the same. You're just not. I mean... Can you come together with that on yourself, me, myself, and I? Yeah. Shoot, I just threw my crystal on the floor. We do that too, y'all. It's a day. People don't. They don't want to see that. They can't fall in love with they self night of cups so over here. Fall in love with you. Do some romanticism. We saw nurture you. Fall in love with you. Do some stuff for yourself. Yep, because this new change is going to have you with a, maybe a little bit of burden. A little bit of, uh, uh, may have, yeah, he was defensive. A little defensiveness. You know, people do get defensive. 
they try to, you can't balance it out, you know. Balance, come to balance. Maybe somebody is a Libra out here trying to balance themselves out. You know what I mean? But, because that justice card been balanced, been coming up a lot lately. It has, you know. And to go through a whole new cycle reset, you know, is a big, it's a big deal. And it's not something to be taken lightly. It's really not. You know, it's something for you to dig into self on and see what it is that you learned from the last cycle so that you can change. Prophet is of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of true love is abundance. Let your heart guide you and be a compass. You know, what does your spirit say? What does your mind space say in your heart chakra? Queen of heaven and earth, I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. Are you able to accept all that I am? Because when people have a disdain for the word change, it's like, it's something about that to me. It's like, because that's what exactly what it is. You're not the same person. And when people accuse you of being different, do you take offense to that accusation? Why are you not able to accept the fact that, yeah, I am different? What I've gone through has changed me. It has grown me. I have adapted. I have evolved because of what I've gone through, what I have seen in my life. The, the pathways that life has brought me has caused me to change, change my environment, change my mindset, change my thought process. I have changed. Can you rock with me through my change? Can you roll with your girl as she changes? Can they roll with you as you change? You know, or do people fall away? People fall away when you change, when you grow and you evolve and you adapt and they don't. Again, projection is a mother. Goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into what I create. Yeah. You will use all of you, all of yourself, all of what you've learned, everything on your pathway will go into creating your next thing. And it will and should change you. It should. It should. Embrace it. This one. Okay. The hidden truth. Let's chop that down. I wish we could go back. You know, some people feel like that. I wish you could go back to the old, to the you you used to be. You know what I mean? I'm not used to this new you, you know? And they want you to go back. They don't want to see the change in you again because it's projection. And people don't want to say, see that. I miss hearing your voice. It's here. This came out earlier, so that's definitely for somebody. Somebody is missing someone else. And maybe that person has changed. I need security. It's here. It makes people feel insecure. When you've changed and they haven't, people feel insecure. They do. They feel like, you know, what is their place in your life? Do they still have a place? You know, because everything is different. You're different. You know, who you used to be, how you used to act, interact, and all those things will change. I have too much to lose. People feel like, again, losing that type of connection with you. The way that you guys have always um, interacted with each other will be different. And maybe somebody is attempting to make a change and they're stuck because they feel like they have too much to lose. We had a reading recently where somebody wanted to make a change, but they had that them ten of wands like that was burdens. I want to make amends. Maybe somebody want to come back on some comeback shit and they can't because they got too much on their plate. They're carrying too much. They want to change, but they can't because they're carrying too much. Or they're trying to figure out how to change based on everything that I'm carrying. That could be a thing. But I have to say, let's put away the mindful messages. We have breathe on the top for meditation. Breathe. We have breathe also for lung health. I can't breathe, taking my life from me. We got butt weight, there's more. So yeah, you need to take care of yourself because a new cycle is starting. So yes, there's more, new things are coming. And let the past fuel you. 
here's fuel. All of those emotions and things you went through in the last cycle will fuel your change. It will. And it give you that change, that newness will be something that you'll be grateful for. You'll have gratitude on that. I enjoy doing things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself just as much as I do for others. I love acknowledging the little things that I'm grateful for. No matter what I have going on, I always have things to be thankful for. Whenever I feel upset, I can fill up a page of the things that I appreciate. It changes your mood just to number the things that you do appreciate. Infinite creativity is here, though. That's a good one. Infinite creativity. To allow what you've gone through to fuel you, to be grateful for those experiences because you will use them to create anew. You will. Father, say, let's put away the Archangel Michael cards. Do that one really fast. We have prayer will help your situation on the bottom. Then we have on the top, this situation is already resolved. Yeah. Again, you are coming in a reset. And we have eternal love. Eternal love. My, help me receive, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving. Giving love, yes. I feel giving love to self right now because you're going through a, a reset, a cycle reset. Again, we saw Anna. We saw laying the seeds, the foundations. We also saw nurturing and mothering yourself, right? Accepting what's going on with you right now. And look what flipped right back out. Eternal love. That is the message. Care for yourself. Again, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. Yes. That's beautiful, Father. Thank you so much for the messages, for bringing the messages through me to edify me, edify myself so that I may edify you our eternal Lord of all of creation. Thank you for the infinite intelligence. Thank you for the breath of life being here, animating me, fulfilling me. Thank you for allowing me to bring these messages out to your weed field so that they too may be edified. We have some reflection cards. Father say, it's a good time to reflect. We have, ooh, right there on the top, we had gratitude, right? And the other mindful message, look at this. Who in your life are you most grateful for? Who in your life are you most grateful for? What are you grateful for right now? It's on the other side. What are you grateful for right now? I say be grateful for all of it, the all. All of your experiences that have brought you to this place. It's caused you to do things different. Maybe change your environment, change the people around you. Change, change, change. A lot of change, right? But all of that is moving you into a whole nother space. And that's a good thing. Have How have your spiritual views changed in the last decade? Father is growing you. Father is changing you. Father is evolving you. Father wants to take you to new places. And everybody can't go with you. And it's okay if they look at you and say, oh, they've changed. Accept your change. How have your spiritual views changed in the last decade? I can tell you, man, huh. Because we started this journey almost since 2007. About... So what is that, 12 years? Something, 13 years, something like that. This is the romance, angels, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Somebody has a magnetic attraction to someone and they are desiring a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe you recently had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you know, with someone. Um, but And we saw, you know, those, the hidden truth cards. That maybe somebody, you know, misses your voice. This could be the one. And upside down is romantic feelings. So that's something in that, you know, 
your feelings are real and worth exploring. Maybe someone feels like they can't explore those feelings, like, um, or they're not sure if it's real. But soulmate and you could be the one are here as well. And maybe the feelings that you're having are not romantic. Maybe they are self-growth feelings or self-love feelings. That could be it. Chemistry is right back on the bottom. There's something happening. There's a strong change. You're being pulled into a direction, I feel. A strong change, a strong pull, a magnetic or a chemical desire, need to change, to evolve, to morph, to move into a different direction, I feel. We have the chakra cards out. And where is that box? Is it out? Because this is a big box and I don't see it. Ah, it's back here. This is the last one, y'all. We're going to put this away. And we are all set for the day. And we will be ready to come back and slay another reading. Maybe this evening. Enlightenment. Father's trying to tell you something. Father is trying to enlighten you. God's trying to tell you something. God's trying to tell you something right now, right now, right now. Woo! Yes, it is. Spirit is trying to tell you something, beloved. Spirit is trying to tell you. And you might not like what it is that you're hearing. Or maybe you're going through something. Again, no cycles ending. A completion, a death. What have you going to the spirit, feeling a certain kind of way. Determining what is it that I still have left to be grateful for. Where is my gratitude going to come? What is my new cycle going to look like? Since things have changed, things have ended, you have moved me. I have to pay honor and homage to the last cycle and let that go. But now I need guidance into the new new. And you have to go to the spirit, that which creates all things, and ask and, and sit in that space and discover. Get some enlightenment so that you can be enlightened on what this new cycle is going to bring for you. What's on the top? Prayer. Go into some prayer. Come on, Father. Can't do it no better than that. You want the middle? Yeah, baby. Somebody might be complacent, sitting there, not moving, not going to the, not going to the spirit. You want anything else? Nope, that's it for that. Complacency. You know, change is required. And those who do not change are complacent. They get upset when other people change, when they move, when they do something different. You look different, you act different, you sound different. Yeah, I should because as I go through these cycles of life, I am required to respond. I'm responding to the environment that is now presented to me, which means I have to pull out something different from me. And I lean into those differences, into those skills, and I grow those skills. So therefore, I am changed. I am better. I have grown. I have adapted. I have evolved I'm not the same and if you have not done any of that work and you still sitting in that same space refusing to let go of those old cycles you have not done your work then those people are going to be upset with you because they are going to see the projection what you project back to them the fact that they haven't changed they haven't morphed they haven't dug into themselves they haven't pulled out nothing new they haven't done anything to evolve to adapt and then get upset at you for doing your work. So don't shy away from the word change. It is what it is, beloved. You change, you evolve, you adapt, you grow, you mature. All that means the same fuck shit, okay? Words is words. And if a person can't handle your change, your growth, your adaptation, or your evolution, then you leave them back there where they standing at because either they could travel along with you or they could stay back there with they self i'm sure they'll find a whole bunch of people that's still standing back there too complacent unwilling to move unwilling to respond unable to adapt and change afraid of change become a change agent Become an early change agent, an early adapter. Get on the cutting edge of things. Become an innovator, a mover, a shaker, because that's how you make them dreams come true. I say, 
Ashe. And to the next now, with the with your girl, your favorite. Ah, we just gonna keep claiming it. Your favorite channel messenger, Lati here at Tears and We to Row Show, where you show sure enough never know what you gonna get. We just chopped it up. Cause like the wisdom says, it, it's time to chop some shit up and think about it. Chop it up, sweep it up, think about it. Sweep that shit out. Let it fall away from you. It's no longer useful. It's not aligned to your life. Why? Because you've changed. To the next now, we love you. We love you. I shame.